tired of these jobs. We don't make any money. We're always broke. You're lucky I could even get us a job after what happened last time. I can't help it if it likes to slip out every once in a while. I didn't have to slip into the boss's daughter. She's only 16. It's just statutory. It was consensual. Hey, cleaning ladies, I need to see you back here. Good afternoon, boys. Some very important business to discuss with you. Now, I've got this wife, and she took my dog 10 years ago, and we split up. Now, that dog is dead, and I can't get her to give me my dog collar back. I love that dog, and I hate that bitch. Now, I need you to go and get me my dog collar back. It was a gift to my dog. It's personalized. It means a lot to me. I'm willing to pay you both $10,000 if you can get this collar back for me. Is this something that you think you can do? We'll take it, man. We'll take it. All right, excellent. Here's all the information that you're going to need to get that collar back. And I expect to be hearing from you within 24 hours. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. Get out of my office. Thanks, sir. If you want me, you know where to find me. Are you sure this is the house? I'm not seeing anybody go in and out. That's what it said in the envelope. I think it said she's supposed to be leaving soon, though. She better. It's getting hot as hell just sitting here. Did you bring a mask? Gloves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going home. I got my mask. We're good. Right. Oh, there she goes. What the hell is that? It's a balaclava. Tell me you at least brought real gloves. I got gloves. Really? Mittens? What? I don't have gloves. These are real gloves. It's not like I could do this on the norm. Let's just go. All right. Weeds, weeds, always with the weeds. I'm glad I got this 311 app so I can report these bastards so I'll start taking care of their crap. Nice to see you too, Mr. Ledbetter. Call me Lewis. Well, Mr. Lewis, it might be a little faster if you just pick the weeds and the time it takes to report them. I'm going to your house next. Feel free, go for it. See you later. What are you doing? Well, I mean, you know, you gotta check everything. Yeah, good luck with the mittens. Yeah, I haven't figured that part out yet. It's not in the bear. In the bear. Trash. Weeds. More weeds. Oh crap! We got company! Who are you? Who are you? I live here! No you don't! Well, I live in the neighborhood. Well, I mean, guess it's technically like you're living. I can't even understand what you're saying. Oh, oh, oh sorry, hold on, sorry. Ugh. Oh, that's better. Uh, I was saying, you know, you kind of live in the neighborhood. What are you doing? Oh, no. What the hell? I, you walked in, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Why is your mask off? Shit, man, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, all right, we got we gotta find this collar. We gotta get the hell out of here. I'll get over here on your side. So what are we gonna do with the body? Grab his arms. All right. What'd you do that 
for? What was I supposed to do? Let her stab you? Well, you just yell at me for killing somebody, then you just killed somebody. Oh, come on. Just find the damn collar. Oh, <laughs> here it is. Did I tell you to check the kitchen? I did check the kitchen. <laughs> Sirens. Go, go, get out of here. Go. We're here. We got the collar. We go in. We killed her, man. We go in. We keep our cool. We can get the money. We killed him, too. Once we get the money, we can use it and get out of town. Just keep your cool. All right. All right, let's do this. All right. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, welcome back, boys. So, how'd it go? It, uh, it was... We well. killed her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just she had a knife. It was she the was neighbor came in. Insane. You killed her. You, you got that dog collar, correct? <sighs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. So I've got this hat at my mother-in-law's.